All right, now we're going to move to old business, action items, volley for a cure, volleyball event. What page is it on, man? That's page 82. If you look at your 82. iPad, you're right there. 82. Um, we had one question on this. Do you need help? Uh, this is an, this is page is first. I have 82. 81. This is a sanctioned IHSA event, the Volley for a Cure, and the IHSA sanctions who different type of fundraisers can uh, occur for. So this was an IHSA sanctioned event. It's uh, It's been a relationship with Morton. We've been doing it for a couple years. Uh, I included some history in the background sheet that the previous board, because it dealt with gate receipts, had thought it would be a better idea to just waive uh, collecting gate receipts that night and uh, allow for people to make a donation to the Susan G. Coleman Fund instead of <coughs> donating our gate receipts since those are district funds. So I included that uh, in the write-up for the board. We had discussed this at the previous COW, so I, um, because we're trying to keep the, the meetings consistent and voting on things only at the business meeting, um, it was asked that we move it to this meeting. Kevin, what do you mean when you say it's a sanctioned IHI event? From what I understand is that the because they use a different color ball and the students will wear different uniforms that day, they have to get IHSA approval to do that. Okay. And they're using like stuff the NFL did this weekend. Right. So yeah. will all schools kind of do this on this day? Not then? all schools. Well, I mean schools that want to. So it'll schools be partner with each other. So Morton and, and RB have been doing, I guess, for a couple of years. They both sell T-shirts, and then the, the profits uh, raised from those T-shirt sales. Mm -hmm. Uh, are also donated as well as uh, the negate receipts. Mm -hmm. And in this case, we're saying don't collect gate receipts, just have one event where there's no gate receipts and let people make a donation. Uh, why does it need to be sanctioned by the IHSA to start with? Because it's the changing the uniforms and the sanctioned ball. And there's only a specific ball that can be used in IHSA contest. Mm -hmm. It's not pink. Oh. So they have to sanction and give approval that they're doing it for fundraising. and. Who well, the funds are being donated for and some of that. I don't know too much more why. Just like, the, the like if you watch the NFL football games this week. Well, yeah, they, they have different they uniforms. Pink, they, had, they had pink, pink. and everything. Yeah, yeah. I would no just like to say something about this because we didn't uh, Is this why really you? discuss it. <laughs> I sent all you guys a little article. It was in the Brit British Medical Journal about Coleman and the fact that Coleman doesn't really um, tell women the truth about the problems with mammography screening. Um, this is sort of in my area of research, and I'm not going to use this as a bully pulpit, but um, there's two principles here. One, there's an ethical principle that we're basically subsidizing this organization, okay? And two, perhaps we don't really need to subsidize them. You could still, you could still, you know, collect voluntary donations and not necessarily waive the admission fee. That would be an option for this. But we do the St. Baldrick where the students shave their heads and we waive things and we raise money for that. Do we do that? Do we, do we waive admissions fee for St. Baldrick? But well, they collect, it's a major I think, I think that's a difference. Okay. See, this whole Coleman thing is a huge business. It's a huge business. And actually, um, if you read that article I gave you, um, they, they don't quite tell the truth about everything, and that's what bothers me. Besides that, like I said, we're sort of subsidizing this organization with this vote, and I don't think we necessarily have to, irregardless of what the IHSA says or anything like it, that. It's disputed medical theory uh, about the effectiveness of breast screen. Well, breast that would certainly be your right. opinion. Let's, let's right. focus no, on I'd say it's an expert volleyball. opinion. From my yeah, point we're just talking about volleyball. Just, volleyball I'm, so. I'm sorry. Yeah, so. It is. It's expert but opinion. But it's it's. But there's is two it principles. money well spent? Right. Okay. So uh, given that, um, do I have a motion for this? I may read it. Resolved that the Board of Education, Township High School District 2A, Cook County, Illinois, hereby authorizes a waiver of the collection of admission entry fees at the girls volleyball game on October 18, 2012 and authorizes the collection of a voluntary charitable donation for the Susan G. Coleman for the Cure Foundation as presented in the October 9, 2012 Board Agenda Packet. Do have a second? Second. Second by who? Second, Tim? Yes. Second by Tim Walsh. Any other discussion yeah, about the volleyball game? Yeah, just one question. Is this subject to the Brookfield tax? 
Or is it on this side? Wait, wait, wait. Is there a discussion? Yeah. Well, you know, I just want to say that this is something the students brought to us. It was important that the students wanted to do, they've been doing it, they're wearing different shirts, they've got a pink ball. It's important to them. And they're asking us for approval so that they can do this, just like they do the St. Baldrick's, just like they collect the pop tabs for the Ronald McDonald. It's important for them, it's altruistic, it's a philanthropic endeavor. And I think that we as a board should really support our students when they <coughs> identify these areas to do this kind of philanthropy. Where's your, where's your evidence that this is coming from the students or it's philanthropic? Where's your evidence that this is driven by the students, Laura? I don't see any evidence. I know the coach wrote something. How do you know that? How you, Coleman is marketing all this stuff. It's the history it's that the volleyball players want to do this. They've been doing this for a few well, years. Where's, where's the evidence of that statement? I don't see it. Well, if we needed your, evidence, we could have invited well, don't say the it. captain. The because they've been here in the past years. We could have invited the students to talk to us about how meaningful it was for them to be able to have this event, just like the coat drive, the, the pop tabs that they collect. I think it's important that we, just because this is your one area of research and you have your very, that you have your opinion, this is something that the students felt that they wanted to do. No, no, I'm challenging you on you saying that this is a student-driven event. I'm saying there's no proof for you to say that. Well, maybe we should ask the principal. Okay, let's, uh, let's any other questions on this on the volleyball or anything? Well, but, he just, she just, if Pam knows, do you know if the students are supporting this um, or whether they, they do get excited about wearing the t-shirts and I think they don't they they um, the the issues that dr. King's bringing up are probably not something that they discuss it was very popular event at my previous school they um, it you know build a bond with the other school and try and raise the money and have uh, do something for I mean they're females they think this is an issue that that is meaningful to them I was at the event the last you know, a few years, and, and they do get very involved in it. Um, it goes from one school to the other, and that school decides what the t-shirts will look like, and then the other school cooperates, and so the kids are involved in designing the shirts in, in, that, in that regard, so. May well, I, I mention something as a third party? I, I'm in the middle of this, too, because my wife is a radiologist as well, and she lost her mother to breast cancer. I think that the assumption among our, our student body are that this money is a hundred percent beneficial to possible recipients of the, its benefits and I'm sure I'm quite sure that uh, many of them are not aware of some of the, what I read of uh, Dr. Keene's data they think that it's a hundred percent certain we, they don't know about the false positives or or the things that uh, might erode the effectiveness of what Komen does. I, I think that it's a valid concern. I, I would probably vote this time favorably to it, but I would give it some concern next time around. In Dr. Keene's data, I don't think it's our purview because we certainly didn't have the it criteria, is, and we certainly did not bring in the Cochran review or all the statistical okay, okay. evidence. Okay, time out, time out here. No, right but I don't what want to I'm get saying is, excuse me, I don't want to get in a mental discussion with it. The vote is right now: Are you going to allow the volleyball game on October 18th to have the uh, not charge admission and get a donation? That's all you're focusing on. I'm not talking about Susan G. Komen or anything else. How they do everything else. This is the focus of the thing. Well, if you want to take it outside, excuse me. If you want to take it outside and have a discussion about no, the organization. No, wait a second, Matt. You're saying it has nothing to do with Coleman. It's got everything to do with Coleman because we're subsidizing an organization that, in my opinion, is not ethical. Then you can vote no against it. Then. Okay, but it's good for that to be on the record. All right. Okay? So this is a, this is a legitimate discussion. This goes the whole thing with character counts at the school and about ethics and about education and telling people the truth. And that's what I'm about. Okay. And I know Laura's got her opinion. She's a, a PhD. She's got, you know, her, her credentials and that. But um, like I said, this is about the truth and about ethics. And that will explain my vote. Okay. And Matt, I just want to say, 
you cannot curtail discussion. Dr. Excuse Keith, me. no. I don't want to lecture on this. I'm just telling you right now, we are here to vote on if you don't want to give to Susan G. Komen, if you don't want this to happen, then you vote no. Excuse I don't want to lecture on Excuse me. Excuse My me. My wife is a breast cancer survivor and deals with this stuff. All right, please? So I don't want to even hear about it. Excuse right? me. As a board member, okay. I have a right to voice. And Dr. Keene is a respected researcher. Mr. Moon has a respect, is a respectable citizen and also married to a researcher. And they have the opportunity and the privilege to have voice, Matt. You, you have to allow us to speak. Okay, can we, start, can we go for the vote now, please? Only if the entire board has finished has their discussion. Has everybody finished their discussion? Well, do you have anything more to say for or against this, as opposed to saying that we should allow voices? I, I'd yeah. like to hear that. I'm just going to say, I'm looking at this as something brought to us by the students, like many of the other events that they have brought to us, and I'd like to encourage them in their endeavor. Okay, Marianne. I know this was up for a vote. Maybe this is the fifth time, perhaps. And and one of the items is that we can't certainly give away the taxpayers' money. And, and that's where the compromise came in to say, well, we won't collect admissions on that day. And it will be truly a voluntary uh, charitable donation at the gate. And, and that's, that was one of the compromises from several years ago. And, and people vote for and against this motion each year. And uh, as long as, you know, as long as we're not giving away the taxpayers' money by collecting it first and then donating it, that was the compromise that this motion represents. And, and that, that's just a little bit of the history and how that is. I know there's people on both sides of the issue. I'm neither for breast cancer research money coming in or against breast cancer research money coming in. May I add, there's one little twist to this, and Gary would have to agree, I think, that we are subsidizing the cost of the electricity and everything in that building. Yes. So we, theoretically, we should cover that cost before it's a true voluntary donation. But the motion before us doesn't. That's true. Have, maybe have, maybe in the future a, we can fix doesn't it. Doesn't have a clause to uh, collect a few <laughs> cents of electricity. Can we now go for the vote, then, Marianne? And it won't break the budget. I'm understanding. Okay, Marianne. Yes. Dr. King. No. Mr. Moon. Yes. Mr. Walsh? Yes. Mr. Welch? Yes. Mr. Gretchen? Yes. Mr. Cindy? Yes. 